Really, that Oroville situation is raising awareness all over Oregon, for example, as more than 850 dams and more than 150 of those are labeled as a high hazard potential on a federal database. And some of those dams are near towns like Silverton, so we wanted to know how people there can know if they're safe. Tim Becker has more. Silver Creek Dam sits about a mile up a shallow canyon from downtown Silverton, so you better believe that the city's public works director keeps a close eye on it every day. I just want to reassure the citizenry that we, you know, the dam is one of our high priorities. Staff goes out every day and does visual inspections of the dam. Christian Sachs tells me when he first saw the Oroville Dam debacle, first thing he did was revisit condition assessments for Silver Creek Dam. The state mandates annual inspections, and at Silver Creek, it was done just late last year. The dam is well maintained and operated in a satisfactory condition is what their statement was as their summary. We found out the dam went through considerable upgrades after the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers issued this report back in 2011. It identifies four potential failure modes there as credible and significant. We have a program in place to inspect, to monitor, um, to ensure that the structures are functioning as intended. We have what are called piezometers, which kind Sachs of showed me the it. measuring equipment and early warning systems now in place. Telemetry, a 24-hour closed-circuit TV camera, and high-level flow monitoring alarms. There's also an emergency action plan now, and he's working to add to all of it. So why is it still considered one of the state's 156 high hazard potential dams? Simple. That rank is given to the potential damage and losses that can happen if a dam should fail. It has nothing to do with its condition or structural integrity. It's not a condition assessment, it's a threat potential. Sachs tells me the next safety measure, installing a seismograph on the dam and then tying that to the early warning monitoring system. Back to you.